what it do kings and queens hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you comment like subscribe and turn on your post notification bell right there at the very bottom so guys before we dive into this video i'd like to acknowledge all new subscribers guys thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel your subscription means a lot to me because sometimes the rain comes to go the flower sometimes the rain comes to drown it up we must be covered from our creator so guys in this video I just want to see how far my mind could go basically <laughs> how far back my mind could go like how much stuff do i still know from like junior high so this is a past paper from palimba secondary school I, I, I hope you guys can see that right um it's a 2017 past paper past examination paper so i'm going to open it to page 7 of 11 because the first pages have questions I think that should be answered with a graph or something like that. Okay, I'll just pick a few from there. So, so uh, the first question is, narrating or recording past events is called A, oral tradition, B, linguistics, C, history, D, archaeology. The answer is B, linguistics. You guys let me know if I'm giving correct answers, right? Um, what century is the year 19? What, oh, what century is the year 199? Is it the first century A, B, 19th century, C, 19... Wait, C 199th century D the second century. I think the answer is one, it should be the first century. To excavate is A to come out of a cave, B to dig from ancient remains, C to search for lost things, D to inquire about the past. Excavate. I'm confused. I don't know the answer to this question right now. Don't add me. Don't come for me, okay? I just don't know. Um, next question. What type of history is passed on by word of mouth from generation to generation? A. Verbal history. B. Oral tradition. C. Linguistic evidence. D. Prehistory. I think the answer is B. Oral tradition. Dash was the one who introduced the word history. A. Charles Darwin. B. Socrates. C. Herodotus. D. Louis. Is it Lique? Is it Lurky? Guys, I don't know. <laughs> I think the answer is Herodotus. C. I don't know. I don't know. Um, which of the following dates are arranged in chronological order? 2500 BC, comma, AD uh, 1640. Okay, let me just skip this question because it seems like it's a lot of explaining. Next question. Which of the following was known, was also known as Nutcracker Man? A. Proconsul Africanus. B. Australopithecus. Australopithecus bra <laughs> C Zinjanthropus D Kenyapithecus C Zinjanthropus that's the answer Mr. Swilili Yeah Mayo <laughs> Mr. Swilili Banda lives with his wife and children, his mother and his grandmother. This family is made up of A four generations b three generations c two generations and d one generation his wait he lives with his wife his mother or his grandmother his mother then him and the wife and his children the answer is a four generations 
Next question. The creature named Broken Human is sometimes called A is Injanthropus, B Nutcracker Man, C Handyman, D Kawe Man. This is confusing. Either C or D. He's not Kawe Man, he's Handyman. I think I think the answer is C. The next question. Farming farming in Africa began along the valley of the river A Luangwa, B Zambezi, C Niger, D Nile by the Nile River. Um next question. Which of the following tribes has a decentralized society? A the Chewa, B the Tonga, C the Lozi, D the Lunda. I think it's the Chewa, if not the Tonga. I don't know, guys. Don't come attacking me in the comment section, okay? I haven't been to junior high in how many years? I was in form, form 2, or you can say grade 9. Yes, in 2011. So that's a long time. This is 2020. Okay? <laughs> um... Identify in the list the Bemba chief who reorganized the Bemba kingdom and reduced succession disputes. A. Wembia. B. Chiti. C. Mwamba. D. Chepela. I think it's Chepela if not Chiti. Guys, correct me. Uh, among the Tonga who ensured that the crops grew well and the community was well. A. Sikatongo. B. Uliani, Uli, Ulianika. C. Mwami. D. Luindi. I think it was Mwami. Let me know if I'm wrong. Which leader was responsible for establishing the Lunda Kingdom of Kazembe South of Lake Mweru? A. Ngana Vilonda. B. Mutanda Yembeyembe. C. Lukwesa. D. Kanyembo. Guys, I really don't remember this part of history. Like, I really don't. And that's the funny thing. Next question. The most important the most important factor which led to the decline of Kazembe's kingdom was A. The Bemba stopped trading with Kazembe. B. Kazembe lost control of the long distance trade. C. Middlemen began to hide the trade goods. D. The fourth Kazembe began to trade with the Arabs and Swahili. I think because he began to trade with the Arabs and Swahili, but also I think because he lost control of the long distance trade. So I think B is the answer. Which of the following reason did not contribute to the Luba Lunda dispersal? A. Succession disputes. B. Family quarrels. C. Overpopulation. D. Search for well paid jobs. Search for well paid jobs because they didn't have well paid jobs back then. Um, what did the Iron Age people use to smelt iron? A. Big bonfires. B. Trenches. C. Furnaces. D. Clay pots. I think they use furnaces. The next question. The Lozi king who introduced the dual kingship was A. Mulu, Mulambwa. B. Mbo Muyunda. C. Ngan, Ngalama. D. Ngombala. I think it was Bomuyunda. The early trading center which linked the Tonga people with the outside world was A. Ingombe Ilede B. Kalundu C. Zumbo D. Fiera Ingombe Ilede A. Which of the following correctly lists the items of trade from the New World to Europe during the Atlantic slave trade? Guys, I don't know the answer, but I think I sh let's move to the next question. A monarchy is a system of government ruled by a king or a queen. Oh, a monarchy is a system of government ruled by a king or a queen. However, not all monarchies are dictatorships. Which of which type of monarchy below is a dictatorship? A. Limited monarchy. B. Is it titular? Titular. I don't know guys pronunciation. Monarchy. C. Constitutional monarchy. 
the absolute monarchy absolute monarchy which of the following a paper given to electorates at the polling station which shows names and symbols of candidates is called dash paper a campaign paper b ballot paper c electorate d nomination it's called a ballot paper guys i guess let's just say this is the end of this video because okay let me give you two more questions a system where more than two political parties actively participate in the politics of a country is called a one party b multi-party c political parties d political system It's good. It's called multi party. Uh, money spent on two projects, such as construction of roads or building of schools, is known as the dash expenditure. A. Investment expenditure. B. Recurrent expenditure. C. Capital expenditure. And D. Revenue expenditure. I feel like it's revenue. I don't know. You let me. You guys let me know, cause honestly, I don't have all the answers. And yeah, which one of the following is not a bilateral donor agency? A. Japan International Development Agency. B. Swedish International Development Agency. C. Finnish International Development Agency. And D. International Monetary Fund. International Monetary Fund. Yeah. Uh, which is the Chief Administrative Officer of the National Assembly? A. Chief Whip. B. Clerk of National Assembly. C. Sergeant of Arms. Sergeant at Arms. Sorry. D. Speaker of the National Assembly. Speaker of the National Assembly guys we have officially come to the end of this video you guys let me know what you guys think Because guys school is not easy. I it's really not but stay in your books go to school finish graduate Achieve your dreams There's a whole lot of stuff There's a whole lot a whole lot of going on. I mean there's a whole lot of stuff waiting for you so yeah just do the best you can and be the best you you can be till next time peace yeah don't forget to tell your side chicks your main chicks your boyfriend your girlfriend your entanglement subscribe to my youtube channel i